Well, we're going to challenge old John Blaze boy. We are welcoming you to our town. Both of us. Put your money where your mouth is. Come down and meet us at a public place. We'll make sure it's public. Or you can come to my house if you want. You can come down here too. Might even serve you a cup of coffee or something. Why don't you tell me to my face? Or why don't you tell my girlfriend to her face what you think about it? Why don't you tell her how much she hates me? Why don't you tell her why she's with me? Tell her. Don't come on here like a fucking coward. Like the master blaster that you think you are. You're a fat piece of shit is what you are. Okay, you're a glorified fucking mechanic that happens to work on farm stuff. And happens to work on some helicopter repair. And you punch cows. Well, come here and punch my cow. As you tend to look at her as my cow. Try coming over here to my face. You said you're going to come to Bantine? Put it on a calendar. Put it on a calendar. I'm, I'm as serious as I've ever been in my life. Come down here and approach me and my girlfriend. And I want you to say the things that you said about me and her. To me and her. Public, public place. Public where everybody can see and hear. Do it. Give us a date. Contact me privately. You know how to contact me. Do it. I want to see you do it. I want to see you say that to my fucking face. I want you to tell her why she's in a relationship with me. And get a little feedback from her in public. Now, you might be facing a couple of embarrassing moments in public. I can't guarantee you anything more than that. Why don't you do that? Talk is cheap, like everybody else on here. Talk is cheap. Why don't you come here and tell me to my face what a lousy person I am. Call me a pedophile. Call, call me those names that your buddy likes to call me. Tell me I'm a loser. Talk about what I did for a profession. Give valid reason why I should give a shit what you think about whatever I did for a living or I accomplished. Like I give a shit to begin with, but tell it to me. Otherwise, you're a fucking coward. You're a piece of shit. Your viewers know it. They laugh at you as much as they laugh at the other guy. But let's make this finally happen. Somebody coming down to meet me head on. Come down and see me and Gilda. Tell Gilda what you think I am to her, okay? And that she's using me for money. Please do. This is a challenge. Everybody's listening to me. I'm challenging Larry Evans to come here, because he said he was going to come to town anyway. Come here before the summer. You said before Christmas. You can contact me privately. You know my email. We've communicated before. Tell me when you're coming down. I will make a guarantee that I will meet up with you at a designated place. And you tell that shit to my face. And you watch how I react. Watch how she reacts. Bring the cameras. Let's get this on tape. Come down here, you big fat piece of shit. You worthless fucking Alabama hillbilly. You know better than the other fucking hillbilly. Come over here and face me straight on. Face this old man straight on. Let's see if he has any fire in his furnace. Be a great litmus test, don't you think? A good litmus test. Try me out for size. See how far you go with that fat ass of yours. Try saying something derogatory to her in front of me instead of talking about it on your YouTube channel. Be the very person that came here to see me other than fucking Brevis. Uninvited. But you're invited. That's the difference. Contact me by email. Give me a date. You want to come down here. We'll have a designated place. We'll sit down in a restaurant. And you tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. I'll give you that opportunity. And I'll tell you how I feel. And if it creates a fucking scene, then oh well. But at least we'll know you're not a coward. That you came down to face this old man. That you disregard have any substance at all. That there's no reason for my girlfriend to be in a relationship with me. It's none of your business what her reason is why she's in a relationship with me. Let's put the rubber to the road. Contact me on email. Give me a date for you to come down. I guarantee you 125%. I will be there. We will choose a designated place where you could tell me and Gil it's our faces what you think. I think that's fair enough. I think that's fair. Do it. Do it. Make it sooner. Come next week if you have to. Make it sooner. I would love the opportunity to see you in person. And I'd love to hear what you have to say, man to man, about my woman and about me. And I'd love to see her reaction to you. And I'd like to see your reaction to me and her. I look forward to that kind of shit. Do it. Stop talking about it. Don't be another Barry. Coming down? You said you're coming down. You're going to meet the Coco Bar? A lot of other restaurants. Doesn't have to be there. I could designate the place, or you could designate the place. I want you to come down in person. None of them are just, you know, garbage shit talk, fucking computer behind the screen shit, come down and meet up with me, because I've been wanting to meet up with you anyway, tell you how I feel about you, I'm afraid of your girth and size, no I'm not, that doesn't phase me at all, in fact I would look forward to you raising your fucking arm to me.
Give me that opportunity. I pray. I'll turn into a praying man. Give me that opportunity. Why don't you? Let's see where it goes from there. Say one disgusting, disrespectful word to me or to my Filipina, and let's see how far that gets you. Come on, this is an open invitation. Everybody's hearing this. It means you got to come down. There's no question. You have to come down. You have to come down. That's it. I'll expect you. 